No, I've, I've said before, my family is abusive. And people argue with me because my sisters deny that. And so obviously, if, if they don't have the same memories and the same feelings, then, then I must be lying. But you know, a lot of people abandon their family members to the streets because of drug addiction or mental health issues. They simply can't. They can't deal with it. They can't live with it, and they can't watch the the family member deteriorate. So they just abandon them to the streets, and that's why there's so many mentally ill people out on the streets who will tell you that they don't have any family because their family left them there. My family, though. See, they weren't content with just abandoning their schizophrenic family member to the streets because they came back to continue harassing me and mentally abusing me online when I got off the streets. And that's the difference between a regular family who simply can't cope with their mentally ill loved one and an abusive family because abusers can't let their victims go even if they've abandoned them and told them to go away and never contact again the abuser somehow can't stop I don't need to show further proof of my family's abuse than the fact that my aunt's channel exists I'm tired of trying to prove something from so long ago that is still happening. The very idea that people say it doesn't exist is, at this point, it's just gaslighting. Because anybody that looks at my aunt's channel or listens to some of those interviews that her and her children did in the early days and doesn't hear the abuse in her voice is just blind to what abuse actually is. There are a lot of homeless schizophrenic people whose families are not on YouTube continuing to abuse them. And then there's my family.